and down. You're Susan. right, Neil. So we did close off that bear market level, but still the Dow Jones Industrials sub 30,000 now. And it's the lowest close that we've seen for the Dow Jones Industrials since November 2020. So that means that the last two years of gains have been wiped out. You have fear on Wall Street at the highest in three months and several factors here affecting sentiment. That includes the ongoing war in Ukraine, but also a stark realization this week that the Federal Reserve and Chair Jay Powell is serious and adamant to keep raising interest rates in order to kill and bring down 40-year high inflation. 75% of Wall Street now expect interest rates to cross 4% in November this year. And that means you're getting the highest yields on 10-year government bonds in 12 and a half years. So the good news here is that higher rates is destroying demand. And that's bringing down oil prices to the lowest since January. A barrel of West Texas now costs less than 80 bucks a barrel. Falling oil prices also, by the way, indicates concerns of a slowing global economy. You had FedEx, Federal Express, warning of a global recession with a package delivery company now down 30 percent this month alone. That's the worst month in four years for the FedEx stock. Other drags on the Dow today includes Boeing, Apple and Nike. And yes, high-flying tech stocks have not escaped the selling. Meta, or used to be called Facebook, those shares at the lowest in a year. And that means Mark Zuckerberg himself losing $70 billion dollars in wealth during that time. Now, Wall Street giant Goldman Sachs says that the selling isn't done just yet. They are predicting that stocks will sell off another 2 percent before this year is done and concerns that rates still need to go much higher in order to bring down inflation, Neil. You know, Susan, while I have you, we we're talking about this on Fox Business, right? Yeah. I mean, which if people don't have, they should demand. But I digress. One of the things you got into, since you know technology so well and you were there for uh, well, those Apple, uh, you know, uh, those iPhone 14s yeah. hit the market and they were selling like hotcakes, right? That's right. Uh, so there's a disconnect between the company stock selling off and, and the company's, you know, customers storming in. That's yeah. the one part that confuses me. It hasn't hit consumer sentiment just yet. You mentioned it on iPhone 14 release days. You had the old lines of three years ago. Right. And that means also, I think the jobs, I think the jobs market says it all because you have two jobs for every applicant still out there. But there's also a realization I catch up, don't you think, Neil? Given that you have Silicon Valley right now in a hiring freeze, Meta reportedly cutting 10% of their jobs, that catch up will take place pretty soon. So this disconnect, whatever you want to call it, because Apple, you know, is still churning out a lot of very profitable products and making money hand over fist on their app store. Uh, yeah. But uh, some of these technology issues have been cut in half to say nothing that they're deep, deep, deep in, in bear market territory, sliding more than 30 percent or more. Yeah. Forget about 20 percent or more. Which is the reflective of the reality? What do folks tell you? Well, from what I understand, so there's a bifurcation right now in tech land where the ones that are making money, like the Apples, the Metas still, that's still making cash, yeah. those are still getting bid up. And, but you're still down 40% on the year. But the other tech companies have not been making any money. Those are down 70, 80%. And as Steve Case has mentioned to you in the past, that kind of reminds him of 2001 when you had this easy and quick drawdown in these stock prices. Well said. All right, uh, Susan, thank you very, very much. Want to go to my buddy, uh, Brian.